Welcome back to Movie On. Today I'm going to explain the movie called After from 2019. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care and I hope you enjoy it. At the beginning of the movie, we saw a girl named Tessa. She was roaming around the forest and trying to say something. She said, love is very important in everyone's life. She was thinking that her life was so boring and narrow before she met the love of her life. But after she met the love of her life, her life changed totally. And then we see the title of this movie, After. This scene cuts here, and in the next scene, we saw that Tessa was in her room. Tessa finished her school, and now she was about to go to college. She was packing up for college, but her mom didn't want her to go far from her. But Tessa managed her mom because she always wanted to go to a distant college and she wanted to study commerce. And then we saw her friend Noah. And then they started driving to the college. And they went to a room. Then we saw two other girls in front of Tessa. They were her roommates. But Tessa's mom felt a little bit awkward after seeing them because they looked so bold. And then Tessa's mom told her, you should not stay in this room. I'm going downstairs to change your room. But then Tessa told her mom, it doesn't matter how my roommates are. I will always be careful about my study. Tessa's mom agreed with her and then left the room. And then Tessa kissed her boyfriend. And we found out that the guy Noah from the beginning of this movie is actually her boyfriend. And then she went to her room. Her roommate said, your boyfriend looks cute. In the next scene, we saw that Tessa got a message from her mom and her boyfriend. They texted her to take care of herself. In the next scene, we saw that Tessa was going to her college. And then, when she went to the class, she met a guy named Landon. Both of them were so excited to join the class. They were the first who came to the class. Even the classroom was locked then. In the next scene, we saw that Tessa was taking a shower in the bathroom. But when she came out, she saw that Hardin was sitting on the couch. And Hardin is the lead actor of this movie. Tessa told him, maybe you're in the wrong room. But then, Hardin said, no, I'm in the right room. He even showed her the key that he used to get inside the room. Then one of Tessa's roommates came there, and Hardin was her friend. Then her roommate told her to join the party with them. There will be some more friends of ours. Tessa agreed with her, and they were getting ready to go to the party. In the next scene, we saw that Tessa was sitting in a cafe. Hardin was also there. Hardin and his friends were gossiping. But then, Hardin and Tessa looked at each other, and it was such a romantic scene. And then Tessa went to that party wearing a hot dress. Then all of them decided to play truth or dare, and they took it to an extreme point. Then a guy named Zed asked Tessa, what do you want to pick, truth or dare? Then Tessa said, truth. Then one of her friends asked her, what was the craziest place where you had sex? And then we found out that Tessa never had sex, which means she was a virgin. And then everyone started laughing at her. Then Tessa said, I will choose dare over truth. Then she was dared to kiss Hardin. Then Tessa said no, and everyone started laughing over the fact that a girl rejected Hardin. Actually, Hardin was the chocolate boy of the college, and all the girls of the college were impressed with him, and that's why everyone started laughing at her. And then Hardin said, I will make her fall in love with me. Then Tessa went to a corner of the room and called her boyfriend. She wanted to talk to her boyfriend because she was feeling so alone. Then her boyfriend said, you must be drunk. But Tessa said, no, I only had one drink. Everyone was having drinks, so I also had one. Then they started fighting over this. Tessa cut the call, and then she was exploring the place, and suddenly, she came to a room full of books. Actually, this was Hardin's room. Tessa saw a novel there, but then Hardin came there and asked her, what are you doing here? This is my room. Then Tessa told him, I was actually looking at the novel. Then Hardin tried to kiss her. Tessa was also about to kiss him, but then her mood changed and she said no and then she came back downstairs. After that, she received a message from Noah saying, I'm disappointed in you. She said sorry to him. The next day, Tessa went to the class before everyone. There was a competition in the class. The professor was asking them about love. He asked them, what is love? And how is it? Then Hardin said, I don't believe in love. It's a useless term. He thinks love means sex. But Tessa didn't agree with him. She said, true love still exists. Then they started debating with each other over this. They also started over a novel by Elizabeth. And then after the class ended, Hardin told her it was really nice to talk to you. The debate was so nice. Then Landon came there. Actually, Landon was Hardin's brother. 
Hardin's father was in a relationship with Landon's mom. If they get married, Hardin and Landon will become stepbrothers. Then Landon told her, Hardin is my brother. In the next scene, we saw Tessa in a cafe. Then Hardin came there and told her, I want to show you something new. But Tessa said, no, I don't want to see it. But when Hardin asked her out, Tessa also said no. But when she was walking out the door, her mood changed and she agreed to go out with him. They went so far from the city. They went to a forest and Hardin stopped the car by a lake. It was Hardin's favorite place. Hardin got down in the water and he asked Tessa to come down as well. Tessa tried to resist him, but at last she agreed. But she said, I don't have my swimming suit with me. How can I get into the water? Then Hardin told her to wear his t-shirt. Then Tessa told him to look away so that she could change her outfit. And then she changed her shirt and got into the water and started swimming. Then they talked about so many things. Then Tessa asked, what is that thing that you love the most in this world? Then Hardin said, I love myself. Then Tessa said, yes, you're right. That was such an easy question. And we will get to know more about this question at the end of this movie. This is such an important question. Then Tessa asked him to change her shirt. Then Hardin touched her body and realized that Tessa was still a virgin. No one ever touched her. Then they went to a cafe to talk, but his friends also came there and Hardin started to feel a bit uncomfortable around them. And then they got out of the cafe. Then Hardin told her, you should dump your high school boyfriend. Actually, Noah was also a good friend of hers. Whenever she needed something, Noah helped her. But then, Tessa asked him, are we going to date? But Hardin said, I don't believe in that. And then Tessa got angry at him and left. When she came out of the college, she saw that her boyfriend Noah came to meet her. They hugged each other and then they went to the party where all of her college friends were present. Then they played a game. The game was about a paper will be in your lips and you will have to pass the paper to someone else's lips. Then Zed was transferring the paper to Tessa, but the paper fell off and then Zed tried to kiss her. Hardin noticed it and beat the shit out of Zed. And then Tessa was watching a movie with her boyfriend. Then her phone rang. Landon called her. Hardin and Landon sleep in the same room. Landon told her that Hardin and his father were fighting over something. And that's why Hardin was very upset. It would be very nice of you if you just talked to him for a moment. And then Tessa went to Hardin's room to talk to him. And they had a very romantic chat with each other. Tessa asked him if he didn't drink before, then why is he drinking now? Hardin said, I started drinking today after I fought with my dad. And then Hardin took her to his room and then they kissed each other. And then they had sex. Then Noah called her and asked, where did you go in the middle of the night? Then Tessa told him, I had to go to a friend's, he needed me. Noah asked her, but it's the middle of the night, why did you go there? And they started fighting over this. And when they were talking about it, Hardin came there. Then Noah realized that they've had sex. Maybe they have some kind of relationship between them. And that's why he broke up with Tessa and left. And then Tessa was so upset, she said, I just lost my best friend today. And then Tessa went to meet Hardin after a very long time. They were talking to each other on the rooftop. Hardin told her, I thought you would never come and talk to me ever again. But then Tessa told him, I've lost my best friend, but you are more valuable than him. They had a very romantic chat between them. Then the scene shifted to a library, and we saw that Tessa and Hardin were in the library. The librarian told them that it was closing time. Everyone got out of the library, but they decided to hide in the library. Then Hardin read her a book. And then we found out that Hardin loved to read romantic novels. But then, the library guard came there, and they started running away. In the next scene, we saw that Hardin came to pick her up after her class. And then they spent another romantic time. They were about to have sex, but then her mom came there and saw them together. Her mom got so mad at them. Her mom told her, you should not do this right now. You should get rid of this guy, because he will cheat on you in the future. And then, Tessa talked to Landon about Hardin. Landon told her to be careful about him. Because Hardin is such a moody guy, his mood changes all the time, and he does absolutely whatever he wants. But Tessa told him, no, he behaves very well with me. And then, Hardin went to another room with Tessa. Actually, this was the house of Hardin's dad's friends, and they decided to live in that house, so that no one would disturb them anymore. They were staying there and spending a really good time together. They went to the movies, parks, and did other stuff together. In the next scene, we saw that Landon's mom and Hardin's dad were getting engaged. And finally, they were going to become stepbrothers. We saw that Hardin's dad was so arrogant. He drinks most of the time, and that is why he left Hardin's mom and married Landon's mom. Actually, 
Hardin and his dad never had a good relationship, but Tessa told him, you should not talk to your dad like this. Then Hardin told her, you don't know my dad, he drinks most of the time, and he even left my mom. But she tried to make him understand that his father was so concerned about him. After that, they started dancing, and it was the first time they had sex, and their love for each other increased so much. But then, Hardin's ex-girlfriend, Molly, messaged him. She asked him, did you tell her about us? Then Tessa asked him why she was sending such texts. She got mad at him, but Hardin said, don't you believe me? Then Tessa said, yes, I do. Hardin said, then you shouldn't be concerned about where I'm going. Then Zed came to Tessa and told her, I know where Hardin is. He took her where all of his friends and roommates were. Zed asked him, don't you know the reality? Tessa got so shocked after hearing this, she couldn't understand what they were talking about. And then Molly said, you should know what's going on here. But then Hardin told her not to say anything. He said, don't say anything right now. Tessa will be so hurt. Then Molly showed her a video of their first meeting where they were playing truth or dare. Hardin said, I will make this girl fall in love with me and I will act like I love her. And at last I will dump her. Tessa got so shocked after seeing this and then she left. Hardin tried to convince her that this video was before he met her and now he actually loves her. But Tessa was so mad at him and told him he is a liar. She said, I spent so many days of my life with you, and you just kept lying to me. Then Hardin said, no, this is not a lie. I really love you, and I want to have you in my life. And then Tessa left him. Hardin was so hurt, and it started raining. Hardin was crying there. We saw an emotional scene here. Tessa was also crying and came back to her hometown. She came to her mom and told her she was very upset. She told her everything about Hardin, and then her mom also said sorry to her. She said, I forced you to live a life like me, and then they talked to each other. In the next scene, we saw that Tessa came to meet her boyfriend. He was a volleyball player. Tessa came to him and said, I didn't want to hurt you, and it was not my intention. Then Noah said, it's okay, never mind. We make some mistakes while growing up, and we fix those mistakes in the future. Noah forgives her, and they become best friends once again. After that, Tessa didn't believe in love anymore. She also moved on from Hardin. She applied for a scholarship. Actually, that scholarship was from Hardin's dad. He had a publishing company. She got that scholarship. Then we saw that Tessa went to college and everyone was submitting their projects. It was the final year of college. They had to submit their final projects that day. Then a teacher gave her a book that Hardin wrote for her. The book was so emotional. Tessa opened that book in front of Landon and started reading it. Hardin wrote in that book that, before I met you, I never believed in love, but I started feeling everything after I met you. I could feel all the feelings, and the novels I read exist in reality. Even true love is real. Hardin also said, love can heal all wounds in your life, and many more emotional things were written there. And in the end, he wrote a question. He said, once you asked me, what is the most important thing in life? Hardin said, it's you. You are the most important thing in my life. And then, Tessa went to that lake that was Hardin's favorite. Hardin also came there, and they looked at each other. And the movie ends here with this emotional scene. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.